And I realized that my passion, my calling in life is kickball pitcher. He is gifted. I'm feeling every class right now, and I made it for the podcast. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> every single class. Don't worry, even the study hall I'm feeling. I can't bet because don't yeah, you're, so Nick so far this year is one in five. <laughs> do you guys want to do lines with Nick? Okay. 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 Yeah. We're going to give ourselves a little bit of That hurt? <laughs> Again, 5% chance of Hurricane Katrina. Hi, guys. Welcome to this. Season two. Welcome to welcome to your welcome to your local teams. Your local teams. Your local teams. Your local teams. You're breathing awfully heavily, Tanner. Are you okay? I am. Are you going like? Hi guys, welcome to episode season two, episode something like sixteen. Sixteen. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't. Pretty sure it's sixteen. First Isn't episode it? of the new year, dude. We haven't we made haven't episodes since it. last year, <laughs> dude. Dude, our upload schedule has just been who? More like our life schedules, <laughs> but yeah, it's true. Life. Second podcast first. Yep. That's if you're I'm... throwing up or sitting on the toilet all night long. We still expect you to be here. Max. Exactly. Cough, cough, cough. Max. The podcast is more important than track. When track season comes around... You gotta quit track. All right. If, if we plan to record four episodes on one day, you better be there for that day, not a track. Exactly. Mm-hmm. What? Who cares about school? Be here for the podcast. I'm feeling every class right now, and I made it for the podcast. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> every single class. Don't worry, even the study hall I'm feeling. You have a study hall? No. Oh, I was like, dang. <laughs> Wish I had a Nobody's study put hall. in any grades in here, except for PE. Yeah. <laughs> I had an F and PE for like a sec, and then he switched it. Got a 20 out of 100, and then... Take it as Weber? It. No, it's getting soft. Huh. We, we've just been doing push-ups, 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 right, Caleb? <laughs> yeah. No games? You know, that's how it goes. Didn't you guys play kickball yesterday? Yeah, but like when you'd switch, you'd do nine push-ups, so. <laughs> but, you know. What would make you guys do that? <laughs> and I realized that my passion, not he's, my passion. He's going to be a pro. <laughs> my, uh, what should I say? My calling in life is kickball pitcher. He is gifted. You know, they talk about how autistic kids, every one of them has a gift. <laughs> that wasn't nice. <laughs> <laughs> Not to offend any autistic kids, but... Have you seen the uh, Uncle Danny? Uncle yeah, Danny. that's Down Syndrome, Jenna. That's yeah. um, right. It's Syndrome. different. Yeah, yeah that's, that's they don't have different. Special. No, do you think... I mean, some of them might, you know? They probably like, do. No, they're just, like, happy all the time. No, that's Down Syndrome. They're on yeah, Capri Sun. Down Syndrome people. Oh, you're saying Down Syndrome people don't have special abilities. Yeah. They make people happy, though. They're just, like, happy all the that's time. That's true. They're on Capri Suns while we're on, like, depression pills and all that stuff. You stole that joke from me. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm making them at night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's Shane. Shane Gillis, yeah. Yeah. I'm not making them at night, Dad. I'm making them at night. I'm making them at night. night. (laughs) (laughs) That guy's funny. I like him. He is funny, yeah. He makes me laugh. Okay, uh, what a... What a... Uh, Stephen Hawking. What happened to him, bro? He was Uh, on, uh... Jeff's on, list. Was he on the no, Epstein no, no. Island? Yeah, I know, but... He died. Why, why is he in really? a wheelchair? He, he got, ALS? like, a disease MS? or something. Yeah, like... MS or ALS, I don't remember. So. What? Like that. Stephen you... Hawking. Yeah. Yeah. He was on the Epstein Island list. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is interesting. It's weird. Now, this topic may get shut down by you guys, but in your opinions, who do you think is on that list? And presidents do not count. Oh, that's hard. I have one good guess, and it's just out of the blue. I just 
picked it out somewhere. I think Bill Nye's on there. <laughs> That's a good guess. I haven't even heard someone say Bill Nye. I before. think Bill Nye. I, th- I think I stole that from Moist Critical, actually. But oh, I, I, I agree with him on that. I think. Bill How old Nye's is Bill Nye now? He's, He's like, like seventy something. Isn't doesn't he? he sell crack to kids? Yeah, he was in jail for a while. <clears throat> actually, yeah. So we're selling crack to kids. I, I don't no, know for don't sure. So. He was using the signs for the wrong thing, I guess. <laughs> like Walter White. Man. First original. Okay, are you saying people who have went to the island or was a client? Or do you think went there slash was the client? Was a client. Okay. It's both. It both works. As long as they were on that island, who do you think could be there? Um, Kevin Costner. Nah, that could maybe work. I don't know. I just said a random Hollywood name. Prince. Prince, you think Prince is on it? Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, he, he had his own, like, <laughs> yeah, Neverland Ranch. Island, bro. Like, Dude, he doesn't he, need Epstein. They were competitors, I guess. Yeah, but he I fought over the market. He <laughs> 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 Bro, this, the list is never going to be released. I don't Not know. all the way, because there's probably a couple... People in power on that list that don't want that to be released. Do you think? So this is off topic completely. Herbert the <laughs> in Family Guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess it is. Do you think they made him sound like Michael Jackson on purpose? I don't think he sounds like Michael Jackson on purpose. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Actually, I haven't even like heard Michael Jackson. Jackson talk and not Dude, have you heard him? Have you seen the thing where he fell off the stage? <laughs> right. He was the, the, it, it was dark and he was like performing something right and the lights cut off. And then you hear <laughs> <laughs> and, and they're like, Michael, you okay? And he's like, Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and then the lady goes, Did you fall off the stage? And he's like, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's just a little southern boy, man. Did, did you hear uh, the one time he's in that interview and like people like theorized that he make like that weird little high pitched voice he has? He faked it because he goes in the mic. He just goes, "Oh, hello, oh, hello." Real <laughs> <laughs> like, voice for a second. It switches it up. Michael Jackson, what an interesting person, dude. We could have a whole episode just talking about Michael Jackson, honestly. So innocent. New Year, new year local teams. <laughs> no Mac. I hate me. when people say New Year, new me. We no. New not Year, new me. Does anybody yeah. have any resolutions? Get women. <laughs> Love that answer. I was going to say something else, but that wouldn't be appropriate for the podcast. You know, I think <clears throat> the point of New Year's resolutions is to like make yourself better, right? Mm-hmm. So if you, you, you obviously wouldn't make a realization or a, a resolution. What? Well, how did yeah, I mess that up? Go. You wouldn't make a resolution unless you realize you need to make yourself better. When you're perfect like me, you don't need one. Yeah. Right. Um, so, but why wouldn't you just make yourself better when you realize there's a problem? Why because would you wait for the new year? And people are lazy and just think, oh, wait, it's a new year, so I got to do something better. Because it's not things that are like legitimate, legitimate problems. But sometimes it is like some, maybe an obese person is like, I'm going to lose weight this year. I think, yeah. Why don't yeah, you, I get why, do, why don't you just do it the second you find out that you need to lose weight? Yeah. Because that's a good excuse to do it because they can go to yeah. the gym with all the other fat people and work out. True. And then quit the next True. week. New Year's resolutioners. And then when someone's just like, when you're like, oh, why are you going to the gym so much? Oh, it's my New Year's resolution. Right. It's just like an out, I would say. I don't know. Got you. An easy way for you to go to the gym is my New Year's resolution or whatever you're doing. And, and it's just a healthy. Thing. And when you when you're thinking about oh New Year, now nah, I gotta change myself for the better, you know. Maybe they're thinking about it, but then since the resolution happened, they can take the next leap. So it's a good thing, but it ends up being a bad thing because no one does it. So and nobody like actually commits ever. No nope, pretzel. 
Don't think I've ever seen a person actually commit to a New Year's, New Year's resolution before. I don't before. think I've ever had a New Year's resolution. I don't think I've ever actually done it. I think I've had some. My New Year's I've resolution ever. is to get one year older. My New Year's resolution is to live. Till the next one? That's until you till die tomorrow. 2025. Yep, until the hitman we called on you gets you. Speaking of hitman, you guys probably won't understand. What? Um, NFL season. I was going to do a lines with Nick today. I was planning. We, we could. Um, Can man the weather man. The NFL season has come to a close. Two Vikings fans, two Broncos fans here. You're a Vikings fan? Yeah. Um, that music is really loud. <laughs> yeah, is. Um, so Nick went to a Broncos game you went against the Vikings, the Vikings. <laughs> mm-hmm. and I, won, obviously. And I went to a Vikings game, and they lost. <laughs> yeah. Losers. They both ended up seven and ten, right? Or the Broncos were the eight Broncos were eight and nine. Disappointing seasons. The Vikings, Super Bowl contending team with Kirk Cousins. When did he go out? Like I would agree, they they could have made a run in the playoffs. I agree. Because this whole stigma about oh Kirk Cousins can't play in primetime games. My boy was balling out. Yeah. We got robbed of a Kirk Cousins MVP season. We're at the at his exit point. He was first in touchdowns and second in passing yards. Stats aren't everything, though. Sam Howell. And he was like fourth in QPR. There, that's a stat that I But remember. Sam Howell was on a horrible team. Mm. Maybe Sam Howell maybe could have went to another team and balled out even more and been a playoff contender. Because he was playing super well. I couldn't tell if he was playing well or it was just like his team was behind, so he's just chucking the He just balls. throws the ball a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Which I saw this. this <laughs> thing. He was talking about Nick Mullins is if you put someone with Josh Allen's mind <laughs> in a backup quarterback's body. It, he was like, Nick Mullins doesn't care. Look at this play. And he like scrambles out to the side and there's two people, there's two defenders on him and he jumps <laughs> and throws the ball into the end zone and it almost gets picked off. And they're like, only Josh Allen tries to do things like that. <laughs> and it was funny. Yeah. And I, I was just seeing some of those like, why do we not get mad at Josh Allen? And then there's like one clip, two clips of him just chucking the ball up. Yeah. Double oh my God. And then there's Pat another Mac- clip on the Pat McAfee show. They talked about it. He, he launched like a 60 yard bomb into the end zone. And it wasn't even close to a wide receiver. Yeah. There was two DBs there. He, he's fun to watch though, because you never know what he's going to do. He might jump over. Someone. That's why the bills will never be like an actual playoff contender with Josh Allen. Because they're so boomer bust. Yeah. They can beat anybody, but they can't consistently beat anybody. That's funny. Sean McDermott. <laughs> Boomer boss. <laughs> ISIS lover. Yeah. Or Al- not ISIS. Al-Qaeda. 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 But, uh, Tanner, what's your opinion on the Broncos season? I'm really um, wondering. Because I'm pretty sure we have different views. I feel like it was a pretty good season like at the like, start of their run. But then... I don't even know what happened to Russell Wilson there at the end. Just, I don't even know. And I feel like... They had a good midseason. Yeah, they had a really good midseason. But then at the start of the season, it was terrible. And then at the end of the season, it was terrible. And then That's how the Vikings were too, actually. How do we feel like, feel like Sean Payton's coaching was? How do we feel about that? Sean Payton brings a culture... That Russell Wilson is the exact opposite of Mr. Unlimited. Mr. Unlimited. Broncos country. Let's ride. <laughs> What's That's my alter fun- ego? Mr. Unlimited. The funniest 
I think probably the funniest sports thing I have ever seen is when after the Ravens beat the Broncos in London, yeah. they were in the plane and someone was recording and asked Justin Tucker, <laughs> how's this, like, how's the trip coming back after London? And he said, well, Lamar's leading us with some high knees down the aisle. And, uh, that he, then he said something else. He said, Ravens flock, let's fly. <laughs> it, that, that's, it, it was funny. What a clown that guy. <laughs> what a clown. Ravens flock, let's fly. Broncos country, left wide. Remember that? No. You don't? Nope. Did someone miss a kick? I, I heard something. Like, it was last year's season. It was like, Broncos country, left wide. I forgot when it was. The Broncos season was good. I feel like it was good, yeah. Their uh, winning streak was awesome. They played bad in the beginning. The Vikings had a bigger winning streak. Who cares? Yeah, actually. How many games did, did the they Vikings win against the Broncos? Six. Oh, hey. Yeah, they won five. The Vikings won against the Broncos? No, because... Josh Dobbs is dumb. <laughs> yeah, thinking too like, much about science. <laughs> he was kind of balling that game, though. Low key. Oh. He threw four, four picks that game? <laughs> no. no he, he, threw threw he threw four picks. Oh, yeah. yeah. The next week. Yeah. He had one fumble, one so, pick. So, four, cor- four games this year, a quarterback threw four interceptions or more. Two of them were Vikings quarterbacks. <laughs> Yeah. That's the one thing about Kirk Cousins is he doesn't turn the ball over a lot. The Vikings went through three quarterbacks this season, right? Four. Four. Seriously? Because they had two in between that sucked. Nick Mullins is balling. He honestly was. Uh, like, against, yeah, the, Lions, he, he against the Lions both times, he did. I don't know. You can throw an interception and still be playing well. Just because you throw an in, Like, he threw four interceptions, but you got to think... Well, some of those were on like a third down where if you threw an incomplete pass, they'd have to punt it away anyway. Mm -hmm. So he just throws a bomb out, you know? And, uh, yeah. And that is the one. He throws a pick final play of the game, right? Yeah. Yeah. If that's a good ball, Vikings win the game. Yeah. uh, It was just a quacker. I think there's a solid chance the Vikings don't worry about re-signing Kirk Cousins because he'd cost too much. And go Nick Mullins and JJ. Dude, Big Kirko could play in Denver, bro. You'd fit that system pretty well. The Sean Payton is Russell system. Wilson done now? They say they're not gonna move on from. They said they're not decided on if they're gonna move on from him or not. But, but his contract's over. No. Oh. How long of a contract does he have? It was three years. Three right? years. Yeah. And like two hundred forty mil. No, it's two years. Okay. Like three hundred forty mil. <laughs> This what? Two hundred forty mil. Sorry. If the Browns didn't trade for Deshaun Watson, it would be the worst shit in NFL history. I was thinking it's funny that Joe Burrow signed absolutely a massive contract and he got hurt. Deshaun Watson, massive contract, he got hurt. Russell Wilson, massive contract. He just sucks. Just sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He was playing pretty good this year, but. Just, he is a scramble first, decide what to do while scrambling, and Sean Payton likes white guy Drew Brees, <laughs> who sits in the pocket, and the only scrambling he does is to get the pass off, which... This is the 42nd episode of your local teams. Give a round of applause. No, we don't need to give that a round of applause. We can we, know we're we can give a round of applause for eighty because that'll or for, for for fifty. My bad. Because we should make a cake. Fifty will be coming. We should make a cake. Yeah. You should make. A I'll cake make a cake. Tanner. Okay, I'll or make Ringy like the worst cake, cake in the world. Like it would be a good quality tasting cake, but uh, it would just be like a terrible decoration. Make it green. Put your local team on it. Like it would be like my wrapping job this this Christmas. Just completely terrible, but it was half decent. I don't wrap the presents. I have my mom help me, and she just does it all. 
I'm like, can you show me how to wrap this present? <laughs> well, and she just does it. My, my mom, wrapping is probably different from your mom's because I just put like a crap ton of wrapping paper, like too way too much, and just like make it. Oh, so you just to... don't know how to wrap? No, I kind of do know how to wrap, but I just don't do that. I just make it like hard to open. My mom tried to wrap this year. She got a couple presents wrapped, and then she got too tired, so she just threw the rest of them in a box, put a ribbon on it, put our names on the box. It but works. It does. What'd you get for Christmas? I got one cool thing I got for Christmas was a super powerful magnet for magnet fishing, and I'm going to go to Redfield this summer with it, and I'm going to go pull up guns out of the river and then, I don't know, do something with them. Eat them? I'm going to eat them, yep. Yeah. I'm just going to file them up and eat them, dude. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Nick, what'd you get for Christmas? I got a shotgun. I did know that before you did. No, you, you didn't. Know. Caleb, what'd you get for Christmas? I got a new phone. And a drone. And a new drone? A drone. Yes. A drone. A drone? Yeah, for like that I'm going to make a cinematic film. For the Your Local Teens podcast? That might be episode 50, might be, yeah. Uh, Is Tanner going to get, like, executed film. or something in it? Oh, we got to find Tanner's murderer? Is it, like, a big drone, or is it, like, a little tiny drone? Uh, it weighs more than 0.55 pounds, so I need to get it registered before I can <laughs> fly it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? No. How do you register a drone? I'm just online. Oh, okay. Then I got to print it off and put a sticker on it. But, uh... I got my drone license. True story. How do you, do you, guys, do you, how do you acquire a license yet or no? no? You you just have to take like a 15 minute class uh-uh. and then take the test online. Yeah. yeah we have a drone. It's bad. And then I remember uh, my dad got it stuck in a tree, and then he had, like, ladders taped together so he could go up and get it. Interesting experience. And then he was just like, yo, if I fall off this, I'm not moving, call 911. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so that's how that worked. It was, it was like a new, it was like when drones were just starting. I had a drone when I was, like, 12. I tried to fly it, but it was, like, a crappy, cheap drone. You could put a camera on the bottom, but it looked like those security ones out of the gas stations. Tried to fly it. You have to throw it up as hard as you can in the air. It would, like, just, like, float to the ground super softly, and it did not work. And then we crashed it out of the road, and it got ran over. <laughs> and that drone didn't work ever First again. time Tate ever had a drone, he flew up the wrong, <clears throat> the wrong direction. Then he didn't press the home, like, come back button. So now it's just in the middle of a forest anywhere. So if you want a drone, somewhere that way, somewhere north of here, of Hill City, South Dakota. Mine doesn't have a very big range. It can go up super high. It can't go very far out, which is fine. Hi. Right. Why would it be going up higher than it could be going sideways? Shouldn't there be like a circle of where it can? I think the transmitter's bad. Uh-huh. But uh, it... It can take 4K pictures and record 2.7K video. My uncle has like so. a, one of those really, my, my great uncle has one of those really like expensive drones, like $5,000 drones. He does. They're, they're like really cool. You've seen it before, haven't you? Mm-hmm. And it's like really, really cool. He's got a new drone though. He's got a new drone. We found a really big one in our garage when we moved in there. It's like, I don't know, like... Big. I, just big. Like, I don't know how big to say. I, can, I can't give you a measurement. It's big. That's what I'm going to say. We don't got to work in. Oh, look who decides to show up. You're late. It was chilly outside. Sure. Hey, got we were All just right, talking, we're g- talking, Tate, that if you're going to be on the podcast, you got to quit track. Or so we're going to kick you out. I decided to run with short sleeve and shorts on today. Oh, that's not that bad. It's pretty cool. Well, you got jeans and a sweatshirt on, so that's a difference. All right, so we're going to cut right okay. Now we're back. Tate's here. So we're talking about Hello. drones still. Yes. My Uncle Gene, who's a drone. That's what we were just saying. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Tate, remember the first time you got a drone, you flew it into the woods, and it never came back? 
That was a very traumatic time. It was very sad. So when I first we went and looked for it. <clears throat> when I first flew my drone, I took it off off of you know we have that picnic table on our deck. Took it off, flew it up around a little bit, just learning the controls, whatever. And then I went to land it back down. And so I bring it over the top, drop it down, get it all lined up. And then I press the land button. And it doesn't land. It turns to the side, runs into the <laughs> fence. <laughs> and so, so then I, uh, it was running on the ground. Because it didn't shut off. Because it didn't realize like, oh shoot, I'm flipped upside down. And so it kept spinning around and it ended up we have hockey nets up there right now. Hit hit the hockey nets, got caught in that. And but before 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 it was in the hockey nets, I went to grab it. I'm like, I gotta stop this thing somehow because I was pressing the shut off button and it wasn't. And it got my thumb, just a little bit. It, it just it just whatever blistered. But uh, and so then it flew after it hit my thumb, launched itself into the hockey net. Then it got stuck in the hockey net, so I could actually turn the stupid thing off. But I figured out how to run it since then. Took it up to a mine up up Deerfield and flew it around a little bit. It's pretty cool. But I forgot the SD card. So I could look, but I couldn't take any pictures, which isn't as cool. Does it have like a little screen on it? Or do, yeah. it's, uh, you put your phone in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're talking about the 50th episode being a cinematic film. About the your local teens. What do you guys think it should be about? It has to have cool drone shots, that's for sure. It, it wouldn't be like... Your local teens A movie. Theme? It'd be like... A short film? Yeah, and it, it'd be like a documentary, you know? On your local teens? Yeah. yeah. Us traveling the world. Your or local America. teens on tour. Your local Just teens America. Just on... South Dakota. <laughs> Just the Black Hills area. Yeah, <laughs> Pennington. Still everything in South Dakota, bro. No, we haven't. We could go up to like uh, Lemon. There's nothing in Lemon. Exactly. We could go That's up to Lemon and like, what do you mean? There's those little cool buffalo. There's the petrified wood forest up there. There is. There is also. Yeah, there's the. Um, oh, what's it called? Enchanted Highway. Oh yeah, with all the Things. all the sculptures. Yeah, isn't that in North Dakota? Yeah, but that's by Lemon. Yeah, Lemon is basically on the border with. It's it's by New England, North Dakota. <laughs> yeah, I thought the I thought the Enchanted Highway was like a little higher. In North Dakota. Not bad. I mean, it's up by I ninety four, but I don't know how far up it is exactly. No, like uh, you know, we could travel to Yellowstone or something. I don't know. We don't in, like in the next in, in the next two months. Mm-hmm. We should do that this summer. Just take like a week and go to Yellowstone. It's expensive, man. Film an episode in Yellowstone or what? We could all have cinematic shots. We could all have cinematic shots. Like what we like to do. Or we could just go to like Sheridan, Wyoming, and do something up there. Lame. We could go to Yellowstone, film it all, and then post on YouTube. Maybe make money off of it. I, I doubt know. we'd make money, but I, I want to make like an actual, like you know, little mini documentary. Put it in the film fest Put it on Netflix. Jimmy. Would it be about? Would it be about the light? I don't think you know how Netflix know. works. I don't Janet. think you know how Netflix Would works. We do what? I think Caleb is just more talking about making a short film than like having a whole production. <coughs> yeah. A short documentary about himself. That'd be a. It wouldn't be a documentary. Then it'd be a what you call it? A biography Mockument. or whatever. It's a mockumentary. Oh no, that's like making fun of a documentary. The Office is a mockumentary. The Office. Is, they have the. Is that why they have the little? Cut offs where they interview them. We could do like one of those. We could for do one of those. 50. Would it just be like us like having a big art? Would it be like See, we got into a fight but the remastered? Except there's interviews. Like it would just be like, man, that day guy's just really getting me mad, and then it just it goes. Fair. 
We could just go full survivor, bro. Dude, Yo, naked could, and you afraid. Just, like, drop us all out. We could drop us all out in the woods and see who survives the longest. <laughs> <laughs> naked and afraid. Your local teen edition. I don't want to have to edit that. <laughs> <laughs> What? We'd have underwear on. <laughs> Imagine we get to a highway. There's just like some old people. See, that's the thing. The Black Hills is too <laughs> some old. It's tourists. too small. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and like there's oh. an ATV trail everywhere. We yeah. could totally just find a little segment of forest, and we could build a little hut, oh. and we could just go off the grid for a little bit. There's like this. Br- Tate bear wants to be grill. the outdoor boys. <laughs> there's the Bear Grylls episode where he's trying to survive in the Black Hills, and there, at one point there's like this big chasm he has to jump over, right? But then like some people found it in real life, and it's like pretty big right there. But if you walk ten feet to the other <laughs> side, it's like get yeah, closer all, right all, there. all the Bear Grylls stuff is fake. He did an episode with Alex Honnold, which is the free solo dude, mm-hmm. where they were like simul repelling down off some bridge, and it was like not even, they didn't even do it right, just because they were trying to make it look dramatic. TV is a production, so. It is. Gotta make it interesting. It's bait. It's stay bait. It's yeah, it, watch bait. It, it wraps you it's in. It's retention bait. Yeah. Retention bait. There you go. You, you just gotta get a mic, hang it from the ceiling, a yeah. restaurant mic. Yeah. 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 You know, this yeah, morning during Exos, TNT hit hard. Dude. TNT. Dynamite. We finally got to listen to actual good Dude, music. For it was actually good. Now. Like, <laughs> stand alone. Stand alone. I feel like a monster. <laughs> 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 I could like probably sing every song I've heard it so many times. I like the one where it's just like a Taylor Swift <laughs> song. It's like, I'm yeah. oh, sorry, but we just died. Ah! <laughs> oh, I hope he watches this. He's going to make a direction when he plays that music. Yeah, we're going to have to run. I hope we don't hurt his feelings. But it's, it's, it's like a monster. Is he what? Is he on like a vacation? Yeah. No, Kyle's in a better place now. He's in games <laughs> heaven. <laughs> He's in lift heaven. He's in lift heaven. <laughs> now, Ronan and I were discussing this earlier, but what do you think God looks like? I think he looks like a power lifter, but with like a big beard, you know, big white beard, right? I don't think God looks like anything. I think he looks like a power lifter. I feel like he looks like an angel. It's like biblical test. It's true. Why do they say don't be afraid to everybody they pull up on? Because <laughs> because they like blind people. Dude, you would you would be afraid if you saw something come out of the sky exactly. and like exactly they're pretty. Oh, like stand alone. But he means like the one with like the big eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the one that with the big eyeballs is scary. I think God looks like uh like they have him portrayed in Disenchantment. He's just big old body with a light bulb. A long light bulb. <laughs> and then, uh, spoilers, but the one, uh, it better not guy. Hey, no. Whoa. No, he, hey. he is. Yeah, but well, we he can say call, special we can say needs. Other words. He doesn't have a brain. He, like, legitimately doesn't have a brain. Say special needs, not the R word. No, like, he legitimately yeah. doesn't have or a say, brain. Uh, um, okay, I'm sorry for saying that, but, like, I don't know how else to describe. I feel like God looks like. Have you seen like he's those not special needs TikTok just... videos where the AI, like in Jesus, and it's like, <laughs> do this, like this video, and share it to the third person. And well, your Tate face. actually. Please stop! Please stop! <laughs> <laughs> that That's was the divine. You. That was divine intervention right Tate there. Actually, has Please those reposted. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Your Local Teens. Make sure to like, like subscribe, subscribe, and share. And hit the bell so you're notified when we upload about every Saturday. Something like that. It's going to be negative five on Sunday. By it's going to be cold. And so, no, so button up. Make sure 
to to bundle up layer and up. lay by your maybe warm cozy fireplace and watch episode your 16 of your local teens